everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito Extra Beef. My name is Jerry. My name is Lennon. And today we got a Marvel movie for you, the final Marvel movie of 2023, uh, The Marvels. We're here. Um, honestly, this is our most dreaded movie of the year. Get to it. Yeah. Uh, well, did Morbius come out? No, Morbius came out the other year. Last year. Never mind. Yeah. Um. Yes, we both went and watched the Marvels Thursday night because this, you know what? That's the I first mean, Thursday night I've ever seen. One a Marvel we movie. were definitely dreading, but I guess came out the most surprised out of any of them. Yeah, I guess so. I, I this is the first time I've ever seen a Marvel movie on a Thursday night, and it just happened to be I, the sequel to Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um. I've I seen a you. couple Thursday night. Like I saw Spider Man Thursday night. Yeah, I normally see mine um like Saturdays most of the time or Fridays, but if I'm available. Yeah. But uh, I'll, I mean I'll... you already you already know there's certain movies I gotta see opening night, like Deadpool Three. I mean, come on. I am seeing that Thursday. Oh yeah. Like Superman, like yeah. It was always best to see a movie Thursday night, especially during school. Like like how I did with uh, Avengers Endgame. Mm-hmm. Saw Thursday night and then came to school and everyone's all like what happens? What happens? Especially like with Infinity War as well, because everybody knew it was a two-part. Well, I don't get that, because why would someone want to ask what happens? Why would someone want to be spoiled in the movie? It's just well, like... I mean, yeah. well, you have people that don't care, but they're interested, you know? I mean, yeah. Like, like um, um, I know one guy like Scott... who did it, and then he spoiled it. Oh, well, look, I ain't know he did I blame you. <laughs> yeah, hey. He told me he wanted it. That's his, that's his act. That's, that's his... Why did you believe that? Well, <laughs> I thought he would. Like I thought he, I remember he like ran up and just told uh, some. He like, literally ran straight up to me and the people I was around and just told us. We ran away, but I heard it. Right, like, I know Skyler didn't care, or, or like with Infinity War, because he's all like, I was all like, everyone was like, I, I just said dies. I didn't really fully. Well, I guess they kind of die. All right, yeah. you're freaking uh, Mark Ruffalo. I already said in the interview. Oh yeah, everybody does. And then yeah. Cheadle was like, "Dude, dude." He's like, "Oh, I should have said that." Yeah, man. Anyway, the Marvels <laughs> is what we're here to um, review. And we were we went into this with the well, I can't say that personally. What did what were your expectations going into the movie? What do you mean you can't say? What were you gonna say? The well, I have a different thing. I was about to, yeah, I was gonna say Lois, but that's not true. But um, I, I'll... you're making jokes like we're gonna look at each other after this movie and then be all like you. <laughs> um, but that Marvel were pretty low because I I do not I did not like I I, no, I, I think I, the Captain Marvel the first one is not a good, good movie, but I also no. like it, I can watch it and not like hate it, but I, I still think it's good. It. I can watch it. I've seen I, it. I, I've seen it. I've seen it a few times. I've seen it three times. First time I watched it all the way because it was because that was the middle of Infinity War and Endgame. Am I correct? Yeah. So came out after Infinity War, and I was just like, okay, this will tide me over. Saw it in theaters and I hated it. Dang. A- absolutely hated it. Um. I tried to do a rewatch of it a bit later. That was during Endgame. Because I was just like, I already watched the Marvel movies before, you know, the big event. Yeah. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> and then I tried to watch it a third time. I, I got pretty far in it. But I just couldn't finish it. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And I and I, I hate the movie. I absolutely hate it. That's crazy. So, going into I, to- the- I tolerate it. I mean... You can imagine my excitement going to the sequel of a movie I hate. Most type movie uh, of the year. Yes. Now I was excited to see um, Miss Marvel and um, I can't. I, I can't. I always forget her superhero name. But Monica, she doesn't have a Monica, she doesn't have a superhero name in the MCU right now. Well, yeah, not in the MCU, but I mean, like comic wise, like was it usually? It's like three different ones. I don't like. I mean, photon spectrum. Spectrum. I always kept calling her Spectrum. That's that's what it is. Yeah, that's called her Monica. Captain right. Rambo is what they were kind of. Captain Rambo. Okay. 
But yeah, I was excited to see Cat Rambo and Miss Marvel in this. That, and that was really oh, that I was looking forward to. And the rumors to the uh Nick Fury. In, Yeah, and Nick Fury. Amen. 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 Uh, that's still not funny. That well, that's the best joke in the movie. I haven't laughed that hard in like any Marvel movie this year since maybe Guardians, but I can't even remember if I had there was a funny joke that fu- like there was a joke that was that funny to me in Guardians Three. <laughs> it's not even like I don't even think it's meant to be like that funny of a joke. It's like yeah, Samuel it's, Jackson delivers. Chuckle at? I don't think the movie's really that funny. No. There's that. No- I like what you because the only well, we, jokes, we me and you laughed like good like five six times that movie we, I feel we, like that we la- la- laughed at because there's only really I want to say there's a third one but the big two was them going on that planet where they sing that was so it was more or less like a chuckle like oh my god okay this is kind of weird black girl magic black girl what remember, wait what? remember remember that that's what um. Nick Fury had said um, whenever Kamala was falling from the sky and he was like, Monica, you got to fly. And she was like, I don't know how to fly. He was like, come on, do it. And she was like, she was like, I'm trying. He's like, come on, you can do it. And he looks at her and goes, black girl magic. And she fell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Remember. OK, so yeah, that was the third one I was thinking about. Yes. OK. So, yeah, that and the other one was like was uh, Kamala's brother. Right. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Praying right now. Yeah, he's like, well, don't stop. We need all the help we can get. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, yeah, my expectations going into the movie, uh, I okay, I went into it with most of the expectations of going to every movie with, which is just like if if it's if I hear bad things about it, um, if I hear good things, I obviously go into it with good expectations. But if I hear bad things, I'm like, okay, we'll see if it's as bad as everyone's saying. But I hope it's good. And it's the way I went in this movie. And I uh, came out surprised. Well, this was a weird case because some people hated it. Yeah, some people... very much so. Yeah, I never I heard anything. I did see that Nerd Roddick put out a video on it with one of their... Well, I don't, you know, so I'm like, oh, my Lord. I know what he said. I can already just picture it. Yeah. The shirt said MCU on it. Oh, really? On the, on the, on the thumbnail. Well, I guess the most nerd rotic it is the most nerd I've rotic. ever seen. <laughs> oh, Lord. They didn't get on my nerves, like, because they're just so negative about everything. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's just that. Anyway, um, yeah, I, like I said, I went into it that way, and um, I actually thought that the uh, movie was uh, good. I think it was good. It was a good movie. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say, like, pretty good. I'm gonna say like, yeah. I, I know when we first walked out of it, we were all like, "This movie's great." <laughs> um, well, it was because we were hyped about uh, we Big hi- Blue we, Man, big big furry in the movie. Yes, I I'm still hyped. I'm still hyped about that. I've looked at that picture at least every day since I haven't. Oh yeah, it it it, it was just like <sighs> I just want to talk about that. <laughs> The well, we got a whole movie to get through. I'm not going to remember I... every... Okay, this is my one big issue from this movie. Um, This is just this one thing, and it's, the, it's, like, it's going to affect the review in a way, because I don't remember much of the plot. Well, I do, but like I don't well, remember any much big stuff that happened other than like Stuff that was like well, I, really important. I can't. I, I couldn't tell you the order of the way things happen in the movie. Well, that I definitely feel that is a bit of the weaker point of the. There's, there's two big weak points to this, and I would say it's the story and the uh, the villain. Yeah. The yeah. the villain the villain especially. Um, I just thought the villain was okay, and unfortunately, that ends Marvel's streak of great villains. Um, movies because they've been yeah, on that streak they've been on that streak since um i mean w- would you argue on division doctor strange I mean, two yeah with wanda um because there's like yeah. i mean because i mean there's no one i can't really remember i hated i unless you want to count eternals well, no, that's why I'm saying it started with Doctor Strange too. 
Because I get because I would say Icarus is more or less the villain than that. I mean, yeah, but like, but I know that. I also, have guy. some news. I have some news on him in this week's podcast episode. So, if you guys haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Go check it out. Um, I mean, I, I'm. I guess Marvel wants to claim that other guy that's barely in the movie is the villain. His, his name's Crow, voiced yeah, I, by I, the guy who played Pennywise in it. It's waste. What a what a what a waste. I mean, such a such a waste. Face. Anyway, we're not talking about Eternals, we're talking about Captain Marvel. I mean, Mar- the yeah. Marvels. Um, well, we were so, talking about the story and how it's just like forgettable compared to. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean at, I least, think... at least Quantum Mania's story was like somewhat memorable, maybe. Yeah. Even I've, seen, I've seen that movie many times, so I can't necessarily why. I've seen this movie once. It's yeah, yeah, great. We have only seen this once. Um, now I do, I definitely would like to do another rewatch on it, and maybe we can kind of, you know, maybe it's like, hey, Lynn, how are you doing this week? I'm like, well, I watched Marvels and it sucks, or so, <laughs> maybe, yeah. I think, um, um, but yeah, I think the villain and uh, a little bit of the writing was a little, um, iffy. Uh, it. I think it was a lot of people have the issue, and I didn't really get this issue. I was paying attention to it in the th- movie, but I just wasn't. I guess I didn't catch it. Everyone's saying that the movie is just edited together like too fast, or and, like it just stuff happens too quickly for no reason. And I'm like, I didn't really get that. I like. I mean, it was a short movie, so I mean, they have to get up and go. Like the movie's well, only an hour and forty five minutes. Well, then I think they should have made you know maybe made it a bit longer. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no hour forty five is good enough. Hour forty five. I I like to I like to at least have two. Mm, it depends. I mean, there's not much of a story like to be told. I don't know. It's I mean the plot's well, pretty tell- simple. I, 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 again, I'm gonna go through a run through of the plot right now, real quick. Of what exactly it is, like a quick synopsis. Um. There's this villain. She's a Cree. Her name's Darbin. It's a really horrible name. And yeah. um yeah, I really don't like that name. And uh we have ten minutes left in this meeting. Oh my god. Um and she's got a ba- the bangle, the second bangle that Kamala um the opposite of the one that Kamala has, and she is trying to save her the Cree homeworld of Hala by stealing resources from other planets. And uh she goes and steals uh was she the heir from the scroll yeah, homeworld? Yeah, yeah, she steals the atmosphere. Yeah. And then the she goes air. to steal water from Aladna, which is like this water musical planet. And yeah. then... Uh, yeah, the world's like 98% water. Yeah. And then the, in, the fi- in the finale, she goes to try to steal the sun from Earth. Which she does yeah. for a moment. moment. Yeah, and, I, and it sucks because I feel like the... Um... Poor people on Earth, they just can't get your break. I think like the the, it's like there's there's some there's the pieces there to tell like that has a good villain arc and all that, but I just thought she was just kind of boring and forgettable. Yeah. You know, it, it felt like a, a phase one villain. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree with that. Um. But yeah, that's kind of like, like the plot, though. I mean, yeah. let's focus on a few characters. Let's talk about them. Um. And then. We'll talk about um, our, our the parts we liked about the movie. We already talked about what we really didn't like, and then we'll talk about the post credit scene and all that. Um, okay, so uh, let's start yeah. off with the main character. Uh, yeah, Captain Marvel. Yes. Surprisingly, li- I liked her in this movie. L- loved her in this. Yes, she did really good. I think the um, sc- I think it's, I think that shows that it's not Brie Larson's fault. It's script. It's the script. Yes. Um, because again, so you know, I be, interesting. I definitely, I mean, I definitely will be serious here. Was there ever a moment you felt like they tried to make her perfect in any way? Not in um, this movie. She literally gets like punched to the point where she like flies like into a wall. Like, cause, like, wall. The, just remember, she Darbin's got the thing or whatever the yeah, uh, and it's, made, it can take their powers away. Yeah. 
and so she gets she gets her uh butt handed to her a yeah. couple times by her. She does always makes the she does always make the best decisions. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kamala just, has and, to put her in her place in that one point, remember? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, when they're on that battle, I mean don't get me wrong the, <laughs> She had the right intentions, but it just it wasn't a good plan to do, you know. Yeah. And and that's and that was great. I was just like, you know, what I'm saying, and you know, not that, and they don't give her, you know, crap for it or anything like that. You know, I don't think she really deserved to yeah, be, you know. But like, I was all like, yo, we need they would need to be like together and survive here. It's us three, so we can take her down. Yeah. And you know, take down uh, what's her name, Cordo? Cord, what Darbin? <laughs> yeah, you got that. Dar- Dar- no, Dar- no, no, Darbin, D A R, Darbin, no, D A R dash. Oh, Darbin, yeah, oh, yeah, no, you know, like garbage, garbage. Hey, that's what I'm gonna call it garbage. Jesus, it's like my name, but. Then you get rid of the IEN and just replace it with Ben. And in which case, it's not like my name at all. <laughs> like my name, but replace the whole thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still kind of like when you got the DAR in there, it's at least half of it. Just DAR? It's like my um, name. Is it's like my name, except replace like half of my name with something else. It's like my name, <laughs> but just erase it and then just write Darwin. Just write a different name. Just write a completely different name. Um, but yeah, okay. So uh, Captain Marvel's written surprisingly really well in this movie. I actually liked her character. Um, yeah. So as long as they keep writing her the way they are, I think yeah. she'll be interesting going forward. Like I now, like I used to like roll my eyes when I saw people like, oh yeah, Captain Marvel's going to lead the Avengers now. I'm like, oh great. But like now, I'm like, okay, I could maybe see her taking some kind of like role like that. Oh, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I, I actually, I kind of, I mean, I look forward to seeing her again in something, you know, in like twelve years. <laughs> yeah, and thing is, I again, I think people need to, I think Brie Larson needs to realize this as well. It will. It used to be like people would just hate Brie Larson because it was Brie Larson or whatever. Yeah, but I, I'd say, I'd say that was kind of like the one of those like you hear the minority over out of anything. Mm-hmm. The majority of people, I feel like, just hated the character and how she was written. And yeah. I always, I felt bad because I know that one interview is like, hey, was anything about Captain Marvel three? And she's like, I don't know if they want me. You yeah, know, do they even want like, me to play Captain Marvel? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, you know, I saw how you did great in this and how well it was written. So yes, come back. <laughs> yeah. You know, I love yeah, it. So, uh, yeah. So she did. Uh, she was done really well in this movie. Um, happy that it fixed her character. Um, yeah, because like I, I, I was the one. Like I guess everyone did too. I rolled my eyes in that scene in game, and they were like, "Where are you going?" She was like, "I'm gonna kill Thanos." I'm like, "Of course you are." Yeah, of course you are. Oh yeah, on your own. You know, yeah. everyone's in on this as well. You know, and like they had to put her in her place there. Yeah, like you everyone crazy. here in this room is about that superhero life. Yeah, everyone here about that superhero life. Yeah, it was just it was just annoying. Yeah, but now she's more. I think she's more relatable too. Yeah. So like um you got the you get a little bit of especially I was like this is one of the things I didn't really talk about it pre like for the movie but like this is one of the things I was most excited about for the movie was seeing this relationship between Monica and uh Carol because we know in WandaVision it's hinted that she like they mentioned something about Captain Marvel. Monica was like, I don't want to talk about her. Yeah. And so I mean it was alluded to that there's some kind of bad blood right there, and that gets explored a little bit in this movie. I don't know mm-hmm. if a little bit it actually gets explored a decent amount. It, it gets explored a good amount. I kind of wish they took it a step further in the movie because they kind of because they mention it and they kind of and they explain why. But I feel like it's just like a quick, like a little just I'm sorry, and that kind of just that's it, <laughs> you know? Because yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah, one division she like didn't want to talk about her at all, and then and here like they have that whole memory moment like with the flashbacks and you have the um uh, what was the other part i don't know it just probably just kind of got rolled tossed tossed over real easily mm-hmm. you know because there's like you know i thought the 
I guess I kind of get the reason why she didn't come back, but I thought it was kind of dumb as well of why she did it. I don't remember. What was the reason? She did it because she wanted to fix... Uh, oh, yeah, it was the scrolls. She's still trying to find the scrolls at home. And she yeah, promised she tried... that she didn't want to just leave them. Poor no, scrolls, was... man. They just no, 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 it wasn't the scrolls. It was uh, the Kree. No, she wasn't trying No, It was the scrolls because no, that no, was no. what the whole ending of the first movie was about. She was like, I'll go help you find a home. And they flew off together. Yeah, but they did find a home, though, with the uh, that one planet. That was just a um, refuge for oh, a certain It people. was a refuge. Well, no, remember she mentions like, the whole Kree planet, how she like felt bad. She wanted to try to fix it, but she didn't know how. Oh, yeah, because she went and destroyed the AI or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that wasn't, but the whole movie, that wasn't about, she wasn't there but trying to that, find the, them all. come back, I swear no, she that wasn't. Her. She didn't try to find them a home because she left them there. Remember, because she like destroyed the place and then left because the AI wasn't there. That's why everyone that was on the planet was like suffering because the sun was like dying and everything. <sighs> well, didn't she mention she thought about maybe doing the sun? Like she thought about powering up the sun, but she's just like, I was. I don't think I'm powerful enough to even do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, she but okay. I think uh, it's um, it's, it's scroll plus uh, scrolls, man. They, they just be taking all the hits. They just can't just whole refuge gone, like all the stuff. Secret invasion. At this point, it's, find another galaxy. I guess. I, <laughs> I don't know at this point. Uh, we got a minute, less than a minute in this meeting. Um, I guess we'll go. We'll take a break for a second, and then we'll come back after and talk about Monica and Carol and. I mean, Monica and Kamala and Nick Fury and all that. Yeah. All right. BRB. All right. Let's talk about. Well, take your pick. You want to talk about Kamala or Monica next? Let Let's do. Um. We'll do. Let's do Monica. Okay. Uh, it's Monica Rambo, Captain Rambo. Last time we saw her was in Wandavision, so that was like two years ago. It's been a minute. That was the first time too. We saw her. We haven't seen her since. Then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna. Mean, I'm on YouTube right now, and I just found Neurotic's video. Oh, this yeah. is new to me, so I've never watched a Neurotic video in my life. You so see the, you see, is it the new one? Yes, the MC, Oh my and god! It has like Kevin Feige in the back with like a wig, with a little wig. Brie Larson buffer than me. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really in that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but okay yeah so monica um she's kind of new to us she's not really a superhero um she's more just working with nick fury in space yeah. and she starts off the movie like you know um she's investigating this rip in space time um which we soon come to find out is um <clears throat> it's caused by darbin because what she's doing with opening portals and stuff to bring the resources to holla um but when that does happen an incursion does start um because she's doing that it like rips open other another reality basically rips open i think this later on that was yeah. our first thing that was our first incursion in the mcu and i guarantee it won't be our last oh yeah um but so yeah she she's got really cool powers in this um what i could best explain it as is like Vision mixed with like Dead Man from DC. I can't. It's like that's a good. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> it's like I don't think I've she heard can. That. She's like a. She can like absorb matter and also like control it or like no matter energy, and um. I don't know it was really interesting. Like she did some really cool stuff. Like what was um, it was whenever she was they like got finished fighting the um. Fighting Darbin, and then she just like came up through the floor. That was awesome. It's like okay, yeah. Um, I really like that. Her powers are cool. Yeah, I I don't I didn't fully understand understand it for a bit until it, it kind of explained it pretty decently. Like it's it's um just controls like light rays, kind of. Yeah, light energy, and that's what all yeah. of them really do. That's how they're connected. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, she's got she, she's um. She's got a decent amount of stuff to do. She's kind of just like, um, she's the brains of the group. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You can't really like. I mean, 
you have the brains. Uh, I guess Captain Marvel will be the brawn. You have Kamala just like there in the sand group. A wild card. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Monica's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I liked her. And then you know, in movie ends with her um going into the hole of uh, the incursion caused to close it from the inside because it couldn't be closed from the outside uh, for some reason. And um, she ends up being trapped in another universe, which sets up the post credit scene, which we will talk about here in a little bit. Um, yeah, I liked her in this movie. I thought she was good. I mean, I like Monica. I liked her in WandaVision, so. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like one of the best characters in that movie. Or show, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um, and I guess that leads us on to Kamala. Uh, this movie is essentially, to me, it feels like Miss Marvel season two. But like better. Yeah. Like I was way, way better. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I liked, I mean, it was Kamala. I didn't have any issues. Yeah. Yeah. I never had issues with Kamala in the first place. It was just, I didn't think the show was just that good. Yeah. Um, but she was cool in this. Her family comes back, so um, you have her mom and Abu and um, her brother. I can't remember his name. And um, I'm surprised Abu was in the movie. I said that. Mm. I haven't heard anything about that case since it happened. Yeah, is that like? I have no idea. <laughs> I remember you like looked at each other and figured, like, well, he's in the movie. <laughs> Well, I knew but, he was in the movie, but I was. I, for, like, I, I forgot. I just I looked at you because I was like, "Oh, <laughs> uh, what's gonna happen?" Um, but yeah, her family were um, they were the way I expected. They were, they were kind of exactly the way they were in um, the show. Her dad was still the funniest one. Her, mo- her oh, mom yeah. had some pretty funny scenes, though. I mean, she was mm. the scene with yeah. the um. Gosh, I don't know if it was it was it had something to do with something like this where they were on like a video call with each other and they were in space and she kept telling like kept watching she's like you better not hurt my daughter <laughs> and like, and, like all this she, she oh, was yeah. like being the overprotective mom and she was like Miss Marvel was like mom I got this um yeah and then yeah obviously got a boo and he had he had some moments I know we had a laugh at one thing he said I can't remember exactly like I said I only saw the movie once so uh but yeah. Family, uh, family was fun to see. Um, let's talk about Nick Fury. Yep. Uh, funniest character in the movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, I agree. Um, I, all right. This is what I was thinking while I was watching the movie, and I guarantee you're going to agree with me. Um, that is not the same character that I watched in Secret Invasion for six hours. Yeah, yeah. Scroll. <laughs> I, oh, I hope yeah. not. Uh, yeah, it was. This was actually, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't like it. I, I liked him in Secret Invasion. I was just saying, he, like, he was more like calm. Only one thing I didn't understand. I'm like, yeah, Secret Invasion happened. Where's his wife? Because his wife literally came to space with him. Yeah, she left him. I don't know. Already. <laughs> yeah, already. Um. Yeah, he has some. We talked about the Amen scene. Um. That was really funny, and he's got he's kind of just there to he's on saber most of the time, um, which they gave the they officially gave saber a uh, name like an acronym like what it stands for, but I don't remember because it, it was really long. Let me see, uh, what does saber stand for? Marvel. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So- Saber stands for Strategic Aerospace Biophysics and Exolinguistic Response. Oh, that is. Yeah, it's a word. Um, yeah. or it's, it's, it's something. But it's, it's it's a couple words. That's <laughs> true. Multiple words. <laughs> it's multiple words. <laughs> multiple words. Um, <laughs> but he's there and he's kind of doing his own thing, you know. Um, and I mean, I don't really have much else to say. He was really funny. I liked him. I was kind of nervous. You lied to me, like t- trying to like act like you, um, like we spoiled the movie for me. You said that, like, oh, I saw Nick Fury's grave. Um, oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Day, and for I know you, I knew you were joking. We said that because I'd known about the leaks with the post credits and stuff. Were, but when you said that, I was sitting there thinking, like, maybe he will die in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you. Sure. I got you a bit. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh, I'm, I'm, ha- I'm happy he did not. Die. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, that's like Fury. There's not many other hey, characters man. really to focus on. Talk about yeah. the villain already. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to highlight something that's really great in this movie: the uh, fight scenes. Oh yeah, yeah all, the pretty, pretty... I, I, all the action in, in this is great. Yeah, I agree. It, it was pretty good. But... With him like teleporting during like the fights and all that. Yeah, that but... makes for some fun. Um, it makes it kind of confusing sometimes, but oh, yeah, like, um, like I didn't out. understand like necess- I guess it was like random when they used their powers whenever they switched. I think they might have talked about it, but like they didn't eventually figure out how to control it. But, yeah. Um. Or like, or like, know what to do when they switch. But uh, at first, like sometimes they would use their powers and not switch. So I was like, I guess it's just like random. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I yeah, I guess you just gotta. I because yeah, I don't know if they ever. I can't remember if they ever do explain that or not. I don't think they do. I just I think we're meant to just assume like oh, it just happens randomly. So now they know what to do in case um they do switch because that's why they were doing a little bit of training. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, let's talk about some big points in the movie. Um, some of the big stuff that happens that affects the overall MCU, and then we'll get to, um. I guess our rating. Yep. Um, so, incursion. We already kind of t- touched on that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, what's her name shows up. Um, oh, good guy. I, it's, not even, it's not even really mentionable at all. Um, yeah, it, she just showed up to take. She showed up to take the scrolls to New Asgard, which is interesting. So I guess New Asgard's become like a safe haven for alien people on Earth. Which is yeah. weird because I'm pretty sure at the end of Secret Invasion, the president said all aliens on Earth are going to be hunted down. So now they're going to have to fight Thor and all of them if they want to. Are are as Guardians considered? I mean, yeah, they're from space. They're aliens, but yeah, I don't but think I... they do that because Thor's a hero. Yeah, and as Guardians fought in the Battle of Earth, but that means the government might try to come there and like stop them from holding scrolls. That might cause a problem. Yeah, Thor five. Uh, oh yeah, with Hercules. I can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, uh, Valkyrie shows up. It's kind of like they kind of allude to Valkyrie and Captain Marvel having some sort of relationship. I don't know if I like that, only because I don't see them as like a like relationship kind of. It was kind of weird. Yeah, they don't really go into it. Like, and I can't imagine at any point of them knowing each other or like talking. I mean, only from like that one A Force scene or whatever in in game where they were. Like, yeah, but oh, like it, she's got. It, they didn't even talk to each other. <laughs> well, we don't know that. They might have talked off screen. I don't know. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're great back there. Oh, thank you. Hey, you want to get back to fighting? You want to get back to fighting now? <laughs> no, let's let's a date. <laughs> okay. It's a date. Yeah. Um, I guess. I wish I had a date like that. Fighting, <laughs> fighting a, a titan. <laughs> That's you know, we only got one chance to save the world. You know. Um. Yeah. That. Uh. He shows up. See anything much bigger that happens? Um, no one dies, right? No. Well, I guess Besides the uh, villain. I the mean, villain. That's classic Marvel. Always killing the villain. But this time, oh, I don't care. Uh, yeah, this time I'm happy. Yeah, we don't see her again. Um, back, Tom, Tom Hiddleston's, Hiddleston's wife. wife yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. They. I. I feel happy. I'm happy for them because they both had like two giant MCU projects dropping the same day. Fortunately, one of them bombed, but and is bombing. Yeah, it's but the other one. Uh, it's crazy. I saw someone post this. I don't believe this one bit. A lot of people think that the Marvels is MCU's worst project ever. And I don't think so. No. Um, but I someone said it's crazy how Marvel dropped their worst and their best project ever on the same day. I'm like, that is kind of crazy to think about if y'all were in that mindset. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Loki is their best project. I I would say the Marvel. I'd say. I thought Loki season two was like I think it's my favorite thing post end game, but we'll talk about we'll review the I mean, finale. I think, I, think, I think it's some of the best thing, the best thing just in general. It's the best comic book media, like movie media. Yeah, like I think I don't know. It's it's really good. But you have to go watch our review on the podcast episode. Um, but yeah, uh, so we talked about the villain. She dies, you know. Um, and uh, she tries she puts both the bangles on, right? And uh, yeah, and it was um, she like overloaded her. Kamala got to put both the bangles on, didn't she? No, is she not? Nope, what 
I swear that happened. But, but maybe she did. She did. Yes, because she had to close the thing with them, right? The incursion rip. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, she had to do. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had to put them both on because they get to give Monica all the power, right? That she needed to absorb the power. <laughs> give her the power. Was it yeah. Monica that needed to absorb the power, or was it um, Carol? Because Carol wanted to fly into that sun. No, no, no. Car- Carol could just do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was Monica. Sure. All right, but Monica's like, look, we've done a lot of things yeah. new today. You can do it. Monica, you know, Monica goes Super Saiyan, basically. Well, I mean, well, the thing is, Carol cannot absorb power. It's only Monica that can do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's her power. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, Car- uh, Monica basically goes Super Saiyan and gets all this power to go close this incursion rift. She's going to close it. And she closed, like I said, she closed herself in there. Um, Captain Marvel goes and restores the sun and Hala. Um, uh, Kamala goes back to Earth. Boofs, um, is a girl and had like hundreds of kittens who are also all flurkins. And according to Marvel, they're the, they're called flur kittens. So, oh, huh. flur kittens. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought that was, that was kind of funny. They were like, they had to get all the little kittens to eat the like people to bring them back to Earth. I'm like, I mean, that's a way to do it, I guess, a safe room. Oh, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people thought that was stupid. Also, a lot of people also thought the musical planet was stupid. When it got to the musical planet, I wasn't like thinking like, "Oh, this is dumb." I mean, I was, but like, I was not in like a bad way. I was just sitting there like, "What am I watching?" Yeah, that was funny. It was so unexpected. Now I'm gonna like sing the podcast intro next time. Sing our entire. <laughs> we should try that the one day. Po- to... I'm good. No, I'm good. Well, I'm, I'm not good at rhyming. So. Yeah, I'm, ain't no rhyming happening. <laughs> I, I was just saying I was just saying everything I need to say in a tone <laughs> we'll see how we yeah. do um, but yeah okay let's talk about the end of the movie um, the movie ends with something that I had been rumored for a very long time um, which is Kate Bishop shows up it's good to see her back yeah. um, they do a little spoof of the uh... the Nick Fury Iron Man yeah. thing same lines and some of the same lines and everything. Like yeah. you're, um, you thought you were only, you were the only super powered. She says super powered kid or super able. I don't know what she said. Um, and then, uh, then she also has that line like this universe is way bigger than, um, you and me. She said, well, right now it's not. It's just you and me. Did you know Ant Man's had Ant Man had a daughter? So that tease is also another member of what they're setting up is the Young Avengers. Yeah. Um, which I mean. Everyone already knew that was going to happen. They've yeah. been setting up for a very long time. Um, so, so far for that, we have Kate Bishop and Kamala. Two, mem- two characters that I like. Ant-Man's daughter. If she was written better, I'll probably like her. Yeah. Um, and then, I'm guessing Wanda's twins, the kids. Um, yeah. so we don't know. We'll, we'll see. I like most of the members, so I mean, I'm probably going to... Yeah. I was gonna say since they just now introduced Scar, yeah, he could get yeah, true. I guess they're, are they not going to do Hulkling? They're going to do Scar instead. That would be interesting. I could see that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm just setting up Young Avengers. Um. Kate kind of agrees. You got to also see Lucky the pizza dog. Oh yeah, I was um, having. This- yeah. She yeah. The first thing that happened when she walked in the room is she threw him a piece of pizza. Uh. But yeah, that uh, that was the end of the movie. I think that was the final scene because she likes um, Miss Marvel was like, "So, what do you think?" And um, because Kate of smiles, Kate yeah. smiles, and because of Um, that was that. Um, and in the post credit scene, oh boy, um, <laughs> yeah, we 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 were aware. If you watch the podcast, we you know we were aware that this was happening. Um, that shows how credible our sources are. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's a mega red situation. Um, I'm never gonna live that down. I already know it. Science, science. Okay, anyway, let's get to the scene. Um, so Monica wakes up in a lab, and she wakes up, and her mom is sitting beside her, and she's freaking out. She's like, "Oh my god, mom!" She's crying all stuff, and she's like, "Mom, what are you talking about?" Um, and this is a she has some gray in her hair too. I did see. Um, mom. So she's a little bit older, 
but this is from a different universe. Yeah. Um, in this, she's called Binary, which we also had, did hear about before the, because that was part of the leaks. Um, the movie came out, and um, so she's there, and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And the door opens, and in comes this person in a white coat. Who, if you pay attention while he's walking in, you see blue hands. And then it shows him, and it's freaking Hank McCoy. And Beast shows up, played by Kelsey Grammer, Frazier. And just. It's. Uh, it's like the people, best. Thing. Now, people are hating on this scene. I don't like, know how. They're like, he looked, they said he looked better with the, like, just prosthetics. I think no. he looks more like the animated series like this. It looks I more like, it. I mean, I. Yeah. And the comic yeah. book. Sorry. <laughs> and like even the way the hair is shaped and everything, they use the same technology that they use for like Hulk. It looked like. Yeah, um, and he so looks and skin beast. Skin. Look, he looks great. Anyone who's complaining is full of it. Yeah, I, I we were just hyped. He was there, like, and he he's talking about. Um, he's like, "How's our mystery guest doing?" And um, is and he's like, "Well, you came from another universe, which shouldn't be possible." And, He's talking about all the stuff. He says Charles wanted to know how she was doing. The stuff. So Charles is there. Um, this doesn't. I don't know if this is our actual like X Men movie universe or if it's just like a like the same universe maybe where because you know we saw um, Charles Xavier in Multiverse of Madness, but that wasn't the one from the I mean same actor, but that wasn't the one from the X Men movies. Yeah. So I wonder if this is just like the same kind of situation. Maybe this is like a live action X Men ninety seven situation. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, oh my god. And I saw people pointing out, um, specifically new, specifically new rock stars. So watch their breakdown of the post credit scene stuff. He, if you look as Beast is walking out, he's wearing blue and yellow, a blue and yellow outfit under his coat, and it's like comic book accurate X Men like attire. Yeah, like he's got the they've got like actual X Men uniforms instead of just like weird leather stuff. I mean, it's like it's. Uh... It looks so cool. Yeah, and um, he, yeah, he was just there, and he talked about um, uh, about how Monica shouldn't be there and all that stuff, and um, uh, oh gosh, what was I gonna say? Um, Binary gets up and she reveals her outfit. It says red and white outfit with these two stars on the chest, and um, she goes the last line. She says, "Who are you?" And Monica just kind of like, it's like, "Oh God," and then. That was the end. So, does she show up in Deadpool 3? Mm -hmm. I feel like Deadpool 3, actually, the story might not warrant them bringing her in. Because I feel like it's kind of different. Then again, I don't know. I think this will maybe get brought back up later. It'd be kind of cool if she was in X Men. It could be cool if she was in X Men 97. Yeah, she's like, what are the new characters they added in? Yeah. And that like confirms that that's canon because like they've been so mysterious about if that shows canon or not. Mm. So I don't know. But I'm interested. I'm excited to see. I hope it's not one of those post credits. It just goes nowhere. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, oh god, I can't. I mean, just the thought of seeing Kelsey Grammer's Beast looking like that, and then it's gonna be like a Deadpool three pro. Like he's Deadpool. got a show. I mean, there was an interview from a couple years ago, and I watched it the other day. Of Kelsey Grammer, and he was saying that when he heard that Marvel was doing the whole multiverse thing, he immediately called them and asked if he could do that role because he said it's one of his favorite roles he's ever done. And he loves it, and I'm like, <laughs> yes, Kelsey Grammer, Fraser, Beast, <laughs> those two are like the most best things ever. Um, and so yeah, that was the post credit scene. That was the end of the movie. There was some, um, I mean, there was noises at the end. If that, <laughs> that's anything, but um. Yeah, that was the post credit scene. It was hype. No one, it seems like nobody in our, there were like five other people in our theater. Uh, this movie's not doing well in the box office, folks. It's already the yeah. lowest MCU movie for, for a weekend. What, what is it? It's like a hundred something. It's million? in like a hundred millions. Yeah. And with a budget of like oh. 250. Whew. Yeah. It'll definitely make profit, but it won't, uh, I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll make profit. You don't think? Oh, you think it's not? You don't think it's gonna make two fifty? I think this is gonna be their first like loss, money loss. Uh, do you think a lot? What do you think a lot has to do? Just 
not interest or not interest like the not interested and the word of mouth yeah then again like some word of mouth is good so i mean i don't know like I think the strikes i mean i know the strikes just the strike, well right they now. yeah but they already got um uh Brie Larson on uh, like talk shows talking about Anamon Villani's showing up at press screenings. Okay. All that. So I mean they've already got some like stuff going on there, but it's kind of too oh. late for it. Yeah, there's a couple people on Twitter that were asking, but it's like hey, you know, can I, should I guess this? And I recommended it. I said you know it's pretty good. Yeah. But um, I know my one, one which friend, is a feat. But my one friend, he's all like, he's like, he's like, is it good? I was like, yeah, it's good. He's like, I don't know if I believe that. No, I was uh, like, okay. It's that All it's, right, that, it's that crazy that a Captain Marvel sequel is good. Yeah. Um, I thought it's better than what they I thought I tell you what, hot I got a hot take for you. It's better than Thor Love and Thunder. It's not really I mean, a hot it's, take. It's pretty it's not hard to do. It's pretty it's pretty ice cold take, I guess. I, I think <laughs> it's I think it's a thing. Um the director, uh Nia DaCosta, she did the Candyman movie, the newest one. Mm-hmm. Um and I think uh, that just shows. I mean, she's she does well. I think May, maybe maybe I'm a bit biased. I'd like to see her do the next Captain Marvel. I might be a bit biased though. Her favorite game is Final Fantasy Seven. So that's true. <laughs> so that might have a lot to do. She knows peak storytelling. You know, somehow peak... um, it didn't carry over to this movie. It didn't carry over, bro. Just give give her another chance. I'll, she'll she'll do it. Um, she'll... yeah. That's uh. I guess we get to the rating of. A Marvels. Yes. Um Okay, I already have my rating. I think I've had it for a while. Yeah, I've I've had one too. Uh I'm gonna give the, the Marvels a seven out of ten. Yep. Same the here. The villain and the story were a little rough. So that's oh. what warrants that. Villain takes off at least two, because that's like the biggest oh, the yeah. story I'll take off one. I, I I'd say it takes two because of how disappointing it is. The villain was because, but also the this is a superhero movie. The villain has to be good, otherwise, like what's the point? Yeah, but yeah. That's a uh, review of the Marvels. Next MCU movie we'll be reviewing, funny enough, is Deadpool three. Yeah, which comes out in May, in no, July, July eleventh. Yeah. Uh, no, that's Superman. Oh yeah, it's Superman. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait. You'll hear us talk about that on the episode. Yeah. So good. That yeah. out. I guess we'll go ahead and get out of here. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.